Hey guys, what is up the Neocubist here? Welcome to episode 77 of my Minecraft survival let's play. So in the last episode, if you missed it, I won't spoil it, go and watch it right now, but we built this big old beet farm. Okay, welcome back. If you chose to come back, if not, then just ignore me. Um, so most of the beets have grown. I sort of waited AFK for a little bit. Um, most of them are grown. I'd say like maybe half. So I want to do a dry run of this thing just to see how it works. So let's just uh, try it out. Okay, the water is a coming. Will it, will it be a breaking? I mean, I'm, I'm so excited for this. I hope that nothing weird happens with these side things. I don't think anything will get stuck. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Alrighty here. So I may have to modify it a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Let's just cut the flow off. Well, that trap door is going to get kind of annoying, but it's okay. Um, okay, the water is cut off. Now, what did we get from this? Uh, oh, okay, so it's still flowing in. So I do know a good solution for this problem that we're having, this this little issue here. It's it's really a non-issue. Um, also, one thing I did think about, um, we do need to build a chest room in this episode. Our inventory is just getting slam dunked full of crap we don't need, and we can't really f do anything about it, uh, which is okay. It's not that big of a deal. We can build a chest room pretty easy. I want to see, what is the yield on that? Okay, so it's still going up. Uh, but unfortunately, it looks like the beets, the beet seeds can sometimes get a little, a little they can go a little awire on us here. So what we're going to do is make a bunch of, I said I had the solution and then I just completely got off track. Um, I do have the solution, I promise. Okay. The solution is going to require more wood. We have a good bit extra, so we shouldn't be too bad. Okay, there we go. 64 plus 16, mm, maybe. Okay, so I'm, my solution is this. I'm just going to put trap. I'm just going to put trap doors like this. That's that's really it. That's that's my entire solution. And it's kind of a pain because I don't think. Oh, okay. I just got to get the angle right. Uh, so this should prevent them from flowing over, and I can walk along this pretty easy. Plus, it makes a nice little protective fence so I don't fall onto my crops. Uh, but when I need to actually like plant them, I can just kind of put them down and then put them back up. So let me finish placing these all the way up here. I don't know how long it'll take, actually. Once I get in the groove of it, it won't take very long at all. So, man, let me see if I can just get in the groove real quick here. Oh, man. It's just weird because you can't be standing on the block you're placing it on, but the angle has to be such that it will be a sideways trapdoor and not a front-facing one. See, if your angle is just, like, slightly past 45 degrees. Okay, this is going to be a pain, so let me do it off camera. Oh, no. Dude, I'm the biggest dummy in the world. Someone needs, someone needs to give me the biggest dummy award. Oh, no, I'm not a dummy. I thought I could jump and place them. And I could right there, but only because of... Oh, man. Look, I'm all the way done. That was way bigger of a pain. Than, oh! <laughs> it's okay. I could just hop right back up. It's all good. That was a way bigger pain than I had anticipated. Um, it wasn't too fun to do, but it's done. And uh, I think it'll help the aesthetic of this farm as well, but that's a nice little solution because you can always build a wall on a block that you can walk in. Now, I don't know if there's like a trapdoor right here and a trapdoor right here. If you build something like this, can you walk in between it? Yeah, you can. So you can always build walls on like either side of you on a one wide block if you ever want to. I don't know why you would. Um, but yes, we do have to plant all it back, man. plant all these seeds back manually. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it's a pretty much an automatic farm and really you can just kind of... Oh, can you shift over? Yeah, you can use shift. So thankfully it doesn't detill the soil, until the soil, I don't know how to say it. Um, but it's pretty easy to plant it all back. It does take a little bit, I guess. I mean, this is my first time doing it. Uh, but maybe there's a way we can sneak out in the middle and get it all with just putting one trap door down. And luckily, since I'm playing on mouse and keyboard, I can just kind of flick my mouse and get all the placements pretty quickly. Just, you know, because I play a lot of first-person shooters. I've been playing a lot of Rocket League recently. I've been getting pretty good on uh, 2v2s. I play with my friend. I'm a... Uh, well, we're really close to getting gold one. Uh, last night, uh, if you know about MMR, or ELO, or whatever, uh, on the PC, you can see it with Baxmod. But we are... I'm at like 4... I don't know, like 415 or 430 or something. So we're getting real close to being gold one. But we're silver three right now. So, if you're interested, if not, just ignore me. You're probably like, what are you talking about? I'm just talking about Rocket League 2v2 is competitive. Come on, guys. Maybe I'll put a Rocket League video on the channel at some point. I just don't feel comfortable with that because I really don't think my audience will like that. And I'm not very good at it. Oh, wow. Did we already get enough seeds to fill this thing in? We did. Just with one little run. Look at that. Okay. 
Well, this thing's primed up and ready to go for a, hopefully a big harvest pretty soon. That's awesome. Heck yeah. I'm very happy to have an automatic farm of sorts because I've never had one. Um, so it really is kind of helpful. And I guess we'll just put the extra seeds in there. We'll grab our beetroot. And uh, we can just eat it raw or we can make some beetroot soups. Some beetroot soups. Is that how you say it? Uh, but for some reason, beetroot soup and other every other kind of soup does not stack. So you have to like... You have to... Why can't I? Why can't I? Okay, we'll just throw those on the ground. Oh, I can't eat because I have full. Oh, I'm a stupid person. Okay, well, my inventory is kind of jam-packed full. So what we're going to do now is make a chest room, um, which I think I'm going to put above the stairs over here. Um, I did kind of remove the stairs haphazardly and quickly because, well, the stairs had to go somewhere, and uh, they couldn't go where they were originally supposed to. And uh, this is my cobble chest. As you can tell, it's kind of full. So we just got to modify it a little bit. I think if we start the staircase one out here like this, then we should be good and we can just kind of make it back up. No, we can't, but we can do this. Look at that. Pretty easy, pretty awesome. And then we just have to change the fence a little bit. Actually, mm, I know there's a lantern hanging there, but I think if we just expanded the fence out just a little bit right here, it wouldn't really hurt the aesthetic and uh, it would help our cause so that we do not fall and injure ourselves repeatedly. And I can put a torch down there, that's honestly fine. Now we just need to fill this in. And then, do I have slabs? Nope, I can make some though. So thankfully, we have a bunch of trees growing too down in our ravine, which I know that sounds weird, but in our ravine we have a big old chest, f not chest farm, uh, what do you call it? A, uh, a wood farm, I guess a tree farm? I don't know, either way, let me dig this room out to be a little bit bigger, it doesn't need to be a whole ton bigger. Uh, these just need to be four blocks wide, and they can't be on this side. One, two, three, and then four. Okay, let me dig this out. Okay, so this should be more than big enough. I don't really think it'll need to be any bigger, but if it does, then we can add it as needed. Uh, but yeah, let me just make a little crafting table here because we don't really have very much room in our inventory, and I need to get some chests down immediately. Oh, wow, that's not the right block. Not the right block at all. Hopefully those beets grow pretty quickly. And if they do, then we can go and, uh, you know, just harvest them pretty quick, which is really nice. I'm smiling thinking about it just because, well, we have good source of food now. I don't really think we need to worry too much about food. Beets really are not a good source of food. I shouldn't say that, but at least they're, they're better than having no food, right? Okay, so we got to fill all this in with planks. I think the floor is going to be planks in here. I mean, the walls will just be solid chests. I hope that's how it works out. If the room is not the exact right size, it's really not a huge, huge deal. Uh, but that's okay. We'll do our best either way. So let me finish this real quick. And the last one. Okay, so the chests are going to go like... like well, That's one chest, two chests, three chests, four chests. Perfect. So we can just drill all this stuff out right here and we can just fill it in with literal solid chests. I don't want to do wooden walls in here. Um, I don't know what the backing will be, but I'll decide on a material. It's really not a big deal if it's... I mean, it, it really can be anything we want. Um, but we we do need these, this, this chest room extremely bad. We don't have any inventory space. We've been struggling this whole time. Well, any storage space, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to break out the walls like this so it looks nice and fancy. And then the chest will go there, so we need to break. It'll be th they'll be three tall. Perfect. So when I do chest rooms, I always try to make them look as good as possible. I know we, we, literal, we literally don't have a roof in here. <laughs> this base is kind of a work in progress. Um, at some point, we'll finalize it and make it look good. But for now, we're just kind of going for um, trying to get some more space to put things. Because unfortunately, we have run out of space to put things. Um, so maybe we could do polished diorite walls. It depends on how much we have in our chest over here. Let's check how much polished diorite do we have? Uh, that's actually a pretty decent bit. I think we should be okay with that. Um, and I need to make a few stairs as well, which my inventory is literally all the way full. So that's nice. Um, we don't need so many. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to put these over here. I'm going to put these behind like this. And then the floor can, of course, just be oak wood. Not a problem, really, at all. And we could do a mix of whole blocks and half slabs. No one will no one will ever know the truth there. And then we'll put this as diorite as well. And then we just need to craft a whole bunch of chests. So let's see here. Wow, okay. My inventory is 
My inventory is making me sad. It's just so it's so small. But luckily we're about to get a bunch of chests. There we go. Same thing here. Nice. That feels real good. Okay, so now we can put up like we can have a chest for just stone and stuff. We need one. Um, we can take the rest of our logs and hopefully finish out the chest right there. So we don't have to like spend the whole time on this chest room. I'll probably just do the rest off camera here real quick because it's not gonna take that long, but kind of annoying thing. The top one opens. Good with me. Looks nice. Functions. Uh, I'll give it a grade A pass. And now all we have to do is finish it over here. We do need to break out the roof and put just straight diorite on the roof because otherwise it's gonna look kind of weird. Uh, but I think I can lengthen out how much diorite I have with just those slabs like that. Okay, well I'll get to work and I'll come back and show you the finished chest room. Guys, the most crazy thing just happened. Oh, never mind. I thought I made the perfect amount of slabs, but I guess not. Um, and also, this is kind of a problem. This is where our, like, you know, our mine shaft is or whatever. I'm not a huge fan of diorite. I mean, it, it, it's kind of ugly, I'll be honest. Uh, but we don't really have a whole lot of choice. And what keeps happening with those lights? You see that? I think it's because of the light in my hand, right? Yeah. Well, either way, it doesn't really matter. So all of these walls have to be broken out now, except for this wall right here is just going to be, um, I guess it can just be some furnaces. I, I was gonna say we can just do like something else, but actually now that I'm thinking about it, I think just some furnaces there are fine. So all these are going to be chests as well, so we can have as many chests on that wall as we have over here. We could technically put chests in the middle of this area too, like in the floor, because it's a bunch of dead space, but guys, I don't think we're going to ever fill up this many chests, if I'm honest with you. I, I really don't think so. We're getting close to the point where we don't have to really store a whole ton more, because um, this isn't like a permanent base, so I think over here I'll just kind of end it. I won't have chests on this wall, but as needed, I'll add them, of course, but I like right now, like think about it. Like, How am I ever going to fill up that many chests in this little... This little tiny room. I don't know. I just don't think it's going to happen. Okay. Pickaxe is broken. I don't have enough stuff to make another. I can make... Well, no, I don't want to make an... I was going to say, I'll just make a stone one, but... No, I'd rather not, because then I just end up throwing it in a chest after using it for two seconds. Let's just make three. That's perfectly fine with me. Iron pickaxes, well, they're nice. They don't last that long. Really kind of useless in the long run, but... Eh, it's Okay. Uh, do we have more wood, too? That's one thing I do need. No, we don't have any more wood. Okay, so we're going to need to go gather some wood, but luckily all of our trees should be grown fully by now. I think. I mean, I'm not saying for certain, but I'm pretty sure. We haven't been down there in quite a while. Okay, so all this can become polished. We don't really need any raw diorite at all. There we go. All right, and then we will just fill all this in with the polished... Wait, were the walls in here supposed to be... Diorite, to, you know what? It, it looks like a very sterile, clean room, so I guess we'll just go with diorite there. Um, and then, of course, on the ceiling in here, this needs to be the stairs. And then the backing behind it has to be broken out, as well as the floor. Was I doing wood under? Yeah, I was. But do I have any wood? Yeah, I actually have enough to finish it, thankfully. With, again, another mix of slabs and full blocks. Okay, now we just got to break out this backing here. Uh, right, yeah, this is the right backing. Chess, yeah. I don't know why I'm getting confused. I've been playing Minecraft now for like four hours straight recording. Not four hours, actually like three hours. It does take a lot out of you though when you're commentating live and playing. And not like take a lot out of you like physically, but just mentally trying to speak and fill in the verbal gaps for that long. It, it, it is kind of hard sometimes, but I enjoy it. And I've gotten pretty good at commentating after all this time. Which I hoped... I hope would be the case. If you do anything this much, you probably, if, you, if you're not getting good at it, after a while, you should you should probably change what you're doing, maybe. I mean, it took me years and years and years to be able to actually talk the entire video without being like, uh, uh, so, uh, uh, because that's pretty much how I started out. I was like, uh, uh, well, uh, and that's just how it goes. All right, I'm going to go gather these trees because there should be a ton. I hope there is, but if there's not... It's all good. We can bone meal them. We have two bones. So a large amount of bones that we can, you know, grow some trees. I'm going to leave this one. It's like a big tree and it's in a nice spot. Nice little waterfall. We'll leave that again. If I break that, I'm pretty sure we will see the sky, which is a big no-no for me, I guess. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I'd, I'd prefer not to see the sky, but if I have to, I have to. So this is all going to be for chests. 
So I was, I do have like an area that I want to be my tree farm. I just haven't really dug it out yet. And to be honest with you, why dig it out when I have like this, which is like an awesome tree farm that looks cool. And it's in a ravine, which is really kind of, it's unique. I've never seen a, a tree farm in a ravine, but I've never really played like an underground survival since the beginning of Minecraft. When I first came out and there was, you know, like I, I found out you could get custom maps. Where are all these things at? Where are all these things? Well, dude, where, <laughs> what the heck are they doing? Where are you guys? Are you under me? Hold on. I must investigate because they're being very loud. Are you under here? I mean, I don't even know where you'd be. This is all lit up, isn't it? Yeah? Oh. So you fell from up there. I know. I just, like, I saw the zombie and just opened my inventory, but I really need this. So he fell from... Okay, they fell from up there. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. We got a zombie siege happening. Not really, but... Okay. 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 You don't hit me. You do a lot of damage. Thank you for your iron sword. I appreciate your donation to the Neo Foundation for a, a better Minecraft world for all. Okay, where were you guys? So they must have just spawned, like, up here in a pocket or something. Which, I did not find this area of my mine shaft before, so this is interesting. Uh, do I have any more torches? No, but I have a little bit of coal. Hopefully no creepers do something bad to me while I'm making torches. Okay, so we have a few more torches. Not that many. Yep, good. We don't even need to go back there anyways. But there was that path I saw go off in this direction. We might as well check it out and light it up as much as we can. We have eight torches. Mm, we'll probably get most of it done. Okay, okay, no. Skeleton, I'm just turning around. Um, uh, I really don't. I'm not in the mood to fight things right now, especially not skeletons that can just auto-aim and kill me. Like, I know... If, it's always weird. I always complain about skeletons because they have, like, auto-aim. I know they're a computer. I mean, obviously, they're like a real person, but... Uh, it just seems weird to me that they don't really have any inaccuracy programmed in. Like, the only way that they miss is if you're, like, dodging and weaving. I don't know. Isn't that kind of weird? Like, it's, it's just a skeleton. It's not supposed to be, like... You know, I mean, it's dead. Doesn't even have eyes. Surely it can't be that accurate, right? That's what you'd think, at least, right? That's what they want you to think, man. They're trying to trick you, man. Okay. Let's fill in all these trees. I know I didn't break all that tree. So what? Sue me. I'll break it later. I'm really just excited about having chests. And we can finally transfer these chests out of here. I think we can leave at least some of the chests in our main, like, house area. But then, like, other chests, I don't know. Mm, now, one thing I was thinking about is bees do speed up the growth of crops. So, if I put a bunch of bees in one of my auto farms, which I think the biggest auto farm will be the wheat farm. Because um, this, while it's nice, it just beets. So, like, they're not really good to eat. They're not really that good at all. Um, and wow, I did not get very much wood. Ooh, that's okay. I should still have enough to finish it, I think. We'll find out together. Do I or do I not? I think I will. I think I will. I think I will. Do I? No. That was not enough. I think... Yeah. Eight more will be more than enough. Actually, I think eight more is like the perfect amount. Yep. Cool. So now we have chest storage. Um, a lot of chest storage. Probably more than we'll ever need. So there... <laughs> I don't really have any lighting at all, uh, so I should probably put some lights in here. I just don't know where to put them, uh, because I can put lights right there and they look fine, but, but I don't know, just something about torches on the ground just upset me. So let's go in here, let's get some iron. We already have iron on us, but we probably need a little bit more. And uh, let's grab some coal, just a little bit, and then let's make some more torches. I think I may actually have some sticks. No, I actually don't have any sticks. Okay, that's weird. That's usually one of the things I just have way more than I'll ever need of, but not this time. Okay, LAN, turn, just because it's easier to do that. What? What happened? How did I only make 11 lanterns? I'm so confused. I need to go watch the footage back. Hold on. I see, I see. So when I shift-clicked, it decided to throw them in there for some reason. Now we can make the lanterns. I'm not sure why that happened exactly, but see, it did it again. No, maybe not that time. Okay, I don't know. 
I don't know what happened, but somehow we didn't lose any resources. That's all I care about. Did we have lanterns? Oh, 19 lanterns in there. Oh, I'm a dum dum. But either way, let's just let's eat some beets. Cause I remember I had the beetroot soup, but I never ate any or drank any. I mean, it is kind of efficient. It does heal you a good bit, but I mean, steak heals the same amount and probably has better saturation, and you can stack it. So it's like, I don't know. If you had a choice, what would you choose, right? Okay, so those, you know what? Yeah, that's okay. It gives enough light. Yeah, you can see above it, but you know what? Just just don't think about it. Just don't think about it. It provides light, and I don't have any other way to like get easy light in this. I don't, I, I really don't. There's no easy way. Okay, and then we'll put two in the center here, and we'll call it good for that. Uh, we won't work on this anymore. We don't really need to. Um, we can start putting stuff up, like all the wood we can put into here. Let me sort all these chests out, and I will be right back with you. Um, shouldn't take too long. There's not that much stuff. It's mainly just this chest that was full. Like, my rare chest, I can finally make a proper rare chest, instead of just, like, stuff that's important that I put in here because I didn't have anywhere else to put it. Like, that stuff's not really that rare. That is, though. I said I'd, I said I'd sort it off camera, but there's, there's really not that much stuff, guys. Okay, so we'll put the lapis in here. This, 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 this. I know flint isn't super rare, but I always put it in my rare chest. Uh, this can be in a live chest, like our plant chest that we have in here. Um, so there is some, like, spawn eggs in here. And yeah, I did, like, technically use creative mode to get them. But you have to understand, I have all the things that I gave myself. And the only reason I gave them to myself was so I could do this this underground survival. I know it's kind of upsetting, I, I guess, but at the same time, ah, uh, not really, not for me. And if you don't like it, I'm sorry. It's just how it's gonna be, guys. Now, string and stuff, I think that's like a mob drop, so we should probably do like a mobs drop chest. Uh, even though I got the string from non-mob drop means, I'm still gonna consider it such, because we got it from those mine shafts, but there's just a plethora, more than you could ever, ever need. Uh, so that's like utility stuff. So I'll put like, like chests, crafting tables, rails, ladders, fence, stuff like that. No, maybe not that stuff. That's wood. Maybe that stuff. Okay. And then where's my wood chest? All the woody materials I'll put in here. The stuff I can confirm is wood. All right. Well, let me finish this. All right. Well, everything's nice and transferred up here aside from a few select things that don't really need to be transferred up here. Uh, just like stuff I've deemed... Just, just crappy stuff I don't need, like a couple of uh, couple of stone tools and stuff. We'll just leave those in there. Um, our wheat is getting a little bit bigger, so I want to try a different design for the wheat farm. I don't know what design that is. I have no idea. Don't ask me, man. I don't know. I'm just going to probably do the same sort of deal, uh, maybe on a little bit of a larger scale. Unfortunately for us, I think we can replace any beetroot in here now uh, with just this stuff and be perfectly okay. I think that's wheat, but just want to be sure. Okay, so if we look in our plant chest, I think we're actually doing pretty healthy on wheat. And uh, yeah, we have a little bit of wheat built up, a little bit of seeds built up. Definitely have a lot of beetroot built up. Uh, I, I, I don't like the beetroot soup because you have to, it takes up so much inventory space. Um, but luckily during this whole episode, well, I was about to say everything's grown, but it really hasn't. Uh, but it really was a nice idea to put those there. Um... Okay, well, it looks like some of it's growing. Hopefully by the end of the episode, we can just farm it. Maybe not, though. I really don't know. I'm hoping that that's the case, but if it's not, eh, not a big deal. Look at my fancy crafting table, though. Isn't that nice? Just so fancy. So needlessly fancy. Maybe we should put a lantern on it. Where are my lanterns? I know I put them somewhere in here. Okay, let's take a, let's take a couple lanterns, see if we can't lanternize this place a little bit. I uh, can't hang one from there. I could put one on top of here. Hmm, much better. Now, up in here, there is a lot of dead space in the center. So, one thing you can do, which I don't see a lot of people do for some reason, um, you can actually make some crafting tables. And you can just put them in the center of a room. So, I don't know where, like, the exact center is, but, eh, it's okay. Wow, I'm a dummy. Do I even have any more wood? Actually, it's perfect. A stripped log, just a, a lone stripped log. Look at that. And now you have just the ultimate just flex. You can just say, hey, look at this, guys. I've just got a bunch of random crafting tables, and, you're, and everyone else is going to be like, 
how'd you do that, bro? Just be like, I don't know, man. Uh, but yeah, basically, whenever I get bored with this underground part is when I'm going to go back up because I also want to try to build something in the big old pit, the 50 by 50 pit that we dug uh, as a, I was going to say as a quarantine, but that's not the right word, as a quarry. Um, so in that 50 by 50 pit, I don't know what I want to do, but I also, I kind of don't want to remove my 50 by 50 mob spawner because it's really nice. So maybe we'll dig another 50 by 50 pit and do something with that. I'm kidding. I'm not going to dig another one of those. And if I do... Uh, I'll have to make a robot to do it for me because it's just too big of a pain. I guess we could remove this big tree now. Now that we've, now that we've hurried up and finished our chest room. Okay. Oh man. No, oh nope. We're not gonna touch that. Too big of a tree grew. I'm noping my way out of there. That's just there's there's no point in doing that. Okay, so I think I want to touch up my bedroom a little bit. I did touch it up a little bit off camera in between episodes. I added some stone above the bed, some cobblestone slabs instead of what I had before, which was just wood. It blended in too much with the walls and just kind of looked weird. I'll show you what I mean in a second. You saw it on the thumbnail for the first episode of this, uh, for like episode 74, I think was the thumbnail for that. Um, but yeah, I made the bed look a little bit better and I also added this back here. Just because I was tired of looking through these holes and not seeing wood. Um, but it definitely looks a lot better. There's a boat in here, which, I mean, depending on how you look at it, is very helpful. Let's see, where can we put trap doors that they'd look okay? <laughs> where can I put need needless trap doors that I don't need in my, in my base? That's the question I'm always asking. These are not needless. That protects you from drowning at night. If you were sleepwalking and you went into here, you'd be drowning, so... Look what I'm doing. Fixing up the world. Uh, I don't really think there's a whole ton else we're missing in here. We don't have a crafting table in here. Uh, but to be honest with you, I don't really think we're going to be doing a whole lot of crafting. I'll actually just do two crafting tables. Okay, we'll put one right there. One right there. Take our extra wood. Uh, we'll make some of it into buttons. And we'll just put buttons on these. Aha, see? Looking pretty nice now. Pretty snazzy. I do like the grass floor in here, uh, but the ceiling still is just stone, which is, uh, depending on how you look at it, kind of bad. One thing I do need to get is a bunch of diorite. Uh, while we're waiting for that to grow, we might as well get it, because I want to do the ceiling as diorite in the base. I also need to get this thing expanded a little bit, but we'll save that for another episode, another time. I'm excited to get another auto farm going, but the beet farm definitely was fun to do. I just hope that it, it, it pays itself back drink a little soup here and get our stamina back I know I'm walking by a ton of diorite but I just don't want to mine that specific diorite just because it's kind of in the middle of our base now over here if we find some uh, is that a big pocket though I don't think so but we'll still get it we just need diorite for the ceiling it won't take that long to get all that we need uh, but to be honest I don't think I'm gonna do it in this episode anyways I've been playing Minecraft for too long I've recorded this is the fourth episode in a row which it's not like bad or anything but I definitely need to take a break after this one and chillax uh, yeah let me just gather a little bit more diorite luckily it's not too rare now usually I'd be disgusted by all the diorite I'm gathering but is this even diorite yeah it is I, I thought I was calling it the wrong stone I still like even to this day even though it's been like six years or seven years since they've added these stone types or like five years however long it's been I don't know they've added so many things over the years which is awesome but I never really liked the stones and I never remember their names ever because I always avoided them in survival uh, but I'm trying to force myself to like them a little bit more but it's kind of hard because like I don't know they just don't look that good it's like a ceiling or a floor material they're awesome but for building I never really could get into using it um, like for any exterior blocks or any like supports or anything I'm sure there's some specific styles that would thrive at the use of this diorite stuff but most of it just looks kind of kind of like garbage when you when you build with it now like a castle I think B double O did a really cool castle or something that looked awesome by the way secret code of the day is gonna be three 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 nine so enter that code down below get a heart for me show that you've watched the entire video 3339 the video is not quite over yet but it's getting pretty close because it's been it's I think it's been about 30 minutes or so we'll go back up here and uh, craft out all this stuff was that a double pocket of gold because the maximum spawn size is eight and I got ten hmm interesting 
a little fishy, but interesting nonetheless. Uh, I kind of want to finish getting this whole pocket, but I feel like it's going to be really big. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe that's the end right there. No, we have all that up there. Okay, we're not going to get all that. I think that should be enough for the ceiling. Is it? I mean, two stacks? Is that really enough? I don't think so. Anyways, I'll call it an episode here. Sorry, this one's like a minute or two short, maybe. I mean, I can keep going if you want me to. Is that what you want? You mean to keep on recording until I, until it's 30 minutes? You know what? We're going to do it. I don't actually know how long it has to be to be 30 minutes. I think this clip needs to be 9 minutes, and it's at 8 minutes like now or something like that. Either way, I'll have to gather this diorite at some point, so I might as well just do it while I'm doing it because it's not the most enjoyable thing. And talking myself through it definitely makes it a little bit quicker than uh, gathering it in complete silence. But we may have some in the chest. I didn't really check. Actually, no, I think I did. Well, that kind of is the universe's way of telling us we have to go back. So, might as well. Anyways, if you guys enjoy my channel and you enjoy uh, what you're watching here and you want to see more, uh, feel free to click the subscribe button. I'd be very appreciated. Very appreciated. <laughs> you can tell I've been commentating for a while. I'd be very appreciative if you did chose to do that. Uh, but if you don't want to, that's okay. But if you do subscribe, I'd recommend turning on the notification bell. Of course, I'm biased. But if you honestly don't want to miss anything, that's going to be the best way to make that happen. Because if you just click subscribe, it doesn't actually notify you at all. So I do encourage you to do that. Um, I do have merchandise if you want to purchase that and support me. Ad revenues have not been too, too hot on YouTube um, just because of this whole recession and, uh, you know, the the situation in the world. But I'm very thankful to be in the position I am and be able to do what I do for a job. Uh, but if you want to help support me even more, uh, more than just watching, which is honestly more than enough, then uh, go check out my merchandise. It has some pretty cool stuff. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at the Neo Cubist if you'd like as well. You can spot some some behind the scenes footage and some pictures of the kitties. Uh, aside from that, I think that's all I have for you today. I hope you guys have a wonderful coming week and I will see you guys again on Thursday. Bye.